Bye, everybody. Bye. Have fun at Bath. Bye, Sudi. Hey, I'm out here in the garage. About to get my day going. The Desi and the kids just uh, took off, and I am in the middle of getting going on my garage transformation project again, finishing that up as much as I can. that out! Fully functional treadmill! Ah. Chairs are hung, feeling pretty good about it. Think I'm ready for a little golden chick. I just realized I don't have my wallet with me. Let me see if I can figure something out here. Always have your wallet with you. I'm sorry, that's like for breakfast time. Power tip. Hey man, I just realized I forgot my wallet. Can I just give you the number, my, like a credit card number? Can you just like key it in, or I mean, I can drive home. Yeah, okay. I'll just have to drive. I'll be back. I just live like down this down the way. Okay, cool. I'll just drive through again. Sorry, bud. All right. Yeah, it stinks. I get it. They have to do that, but I was hoping I could just give it my card number because I know it because I have so much stuff. So, got my golden chick, and I'm gonna eat lunch, and I thought we could talk. Hope you don't mind I'm eating lunch while we talk, while I talk. I wanna talk about the election. It's a little weird. See what happens. There's a lot of big Christian leaders, ministry leaders and pastors and so forth, really big ones, ones that I respect in in, in other any other situation or, or, or that I just respect. I respect them. But they're coming out in support of Donald Trump. And a lot of them are just straight up saying, hey, he's 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 not the guy you think he is and he's, you know, and all this and he's a good guy and he believes in the stuff that we believe in, and he's fighting for what we believe in, and and so we're you should support him. And others are just saying, hey, he's not a good guy, but the Republican platform is really good, and we need to support the Republican platform and vote Republican, regardless of whose name is beside the box. Okay, and I have a problem with that, and here's the problem: Donald Trump. Um, I, you know, I don't know if he's a good businessman or not. Some people say he is. Some people say he isn't. He's bankrupted a ton of companies. He says that's a business 
you know, wrangling kind of thing where you, you know, you use the laws that are there to, to make things work for your business, which I think is kind of sorry, you know, but, um, I, I, I know a lot of people who could have, you know, at different times, uh, declared bankruptcy just to get out of trouble and didn't because they just wanted to do the right thing and pay their creditors. Um, you know, just because you're a big business and you, there are those laws there doesn't mean you should take advantage of them. But that being said, Donald Trump, I don't know what kind of businessman he really is, but it does seem that he is a particular kind of guy when it comes to, well, I don't know what kind of businessman he is, but I can tell kind of what what kind of person he is by the things that he's done by his actions and hey I, I've got my flaws okay there's no question if you wanted to start dragging out all my dirty laundry you know you probably wouldn't watch any of these videos but I'm not running for president and he is and here's the thing he may be saying I'm gonna support all these things I'm gonna appoint conservative judges uh, to the Supreme Court justices to the Supreme Court I'm gonna um, fight uh, to get rid of uh, spending for things like abortion. I'm going to, uh, by the federal government, I'm going to uh, close down payment. I, I don't even know what all he's promised that he's going to do to get these people so excited about him that he's going to, you know, protect uh, the churches from the, the state and all that kind of stuff. I, here's the thing. I don't believe the guy. I don't believe him for a second. He says all this stuff um, and I just don't believe him. Like, and because, and I don't believe him, because he's proven to be a man who doesn't keep his word over and over and over again. He's a liar. He's a cheat. Okay? These are not, and it's not just me saying this because I don't like the guy. I'm just saying, this is all the stuff that's reported about him. There's people coming out left and right saying, he cheated me out of this money. He owes me this money. He used these federal laws so they wouldn't have to pay me the money. He changed all the rules after the work was completed. All this kind of stuff. The guy's a cheat. And you may say all you want. Hey, he's shaking things up and all that stuff. And he is. That's fine. But don't believe him for a second. If you're counting on him to do all the stuff that he said he's going to do, don't count on it. He's not going to. He's not going to... He's not a man of his word. He's not an honorable man. Okay? Nobody's perfect morally. That's understood. It's not a requirement for the presidency. See Bill Clinton. But it is required that you be a man of your word. And he is not that. And I can't vote for the guy. And so, no, I'm not going to vote for Hillary. And I know the arguments. I know the arguments about, hey, if you don't vote for Trump, that is a vote for Hillary. That's not true, number one. Okay, that's not true. A vote for another candidate is just as important as any other vote. In fact, in this election, if there's more votes for a third-party candidate than ever before, that's not such a bad thing. It may put Hillary in the White House, or it may not. It may put Trump in the White House. It may not. Who knows? But it's not a bad thing for people to use their voice and say, I'm dissatisfied with what I'm seeing in these political parties, and I want something new and different. And I get it. I get the Supreme Court justice thing. But you know what? I think, I just think that the same guys who th say things like that God is on his throne and that uh, God really is in charge can't all of a sudden backpedal and say, yeah, God is in charge, but we got to get the right person elected president. And we've got to make sure that we get these Supreme Court justices, okay? Either God is on his throne or he's not. And you know what he is. And so it's going to be okay. I'm not excited about it. I think it could be crazy. I think whoever, if, if, if either, and, and one of these two is going to be elected, Trump or Hillary. And either one would be horrible, okay? Let's not act like Trump is going to be this, this guy that's going to stand up for all that's right in the world and moral and good. He's not that guy. Let's not act like he is. Let's not get him, give him credit for being something that he isn't, okay? And I understand, again, the arguments about the Supreme Court. I get it. And that is when I have to do, do have to just say that God is on his throne. He's going to do 
what he's going to do. And the person that's elected president, do you think God's not in charge of that? All of a sudden, he's not in charge of this election? That's my thought. If you have golden chick near you, you should go there. It's really good. Their chicken tenders are fantastic. And they have new dipping sauces. They're so delicious. All right, time for trick or treating. They are way ahead of me, I gotta catch up. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, you're so welcome. Okay. Thank you so much for passing out Bye-bye. There you go. Thank you. Huh? Oh, wow. That's fun. Great. Nice. Yeah, that's genius. Thank you. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. We can, we can start around the black we don't care about the box. Whoa, awesome. I'm all good, okay. thank you. <laughs> I don't need any candy. Okay. Come on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Who's got Lily bit? You got her?